we don't wish this on anybody. We never thought this was going to happen to our family. Madeline Pandoha was last seen at her apartment complex on May 10th. Thursday at 1.30, um, her neighbors heard her arguing um, with her ex-boyfriend. And after that, we have not known anything about her. Her phone, purse, keys, and dog were all left in her apartment, something that is very unlike her. She's been a very independent um, young lady. Um, she she gets her stuff paid. She She's very responsible. The Midland Police Department is investigating this case. Right now, the family has no new information from them. He says absolutely not. They have not let us know anything. The family and others have searched for Madeline around the apartment complex and places in South Midland. We've gone to lands over there, um, just empty lots looking. We've had people that we don't know um, searching with their drones. They've sent them, they sent us the videos, they sent us pictures of the of the footage they took. Hello everyone, it's Dr. Vasquez, your doctor in criminal justice, bringing you another video on criminal justice topics. So I have a tragic story coming from Midland, Texas. We have a 20 or 21 year old, I've seen different uh, reports here, they either say 2021, Madeline Molina Pantoja, coming from Midland, Texas. She went missing last Wednesday. So she was seen last Wednesday. Uh, this was May 10th, around 11 o'clock at night. Upon further discovery, uh, they gained access to her apartment and they found that her keys were there, her purse was there, her wallets were there, credit cards were there, car was there, dog was there, um, and vehicle was there, right? So it's very odd. No one has had contact with her. So, um, you know, everyone is sounding the alarm. Everyone is concerned, right? So, or as always, uh, this channel has provided a lot of information. I am proud to say uh, that we have contributed, I would say, uh, to bringing awareness on some sensitive topics. So please feel free to help out. All right, so a couple of things that I want to discuss, right? Uh, number one, always alarming the more time that passes in an investigation, uh, we know and the less likely they are to find the victim, right? And we don't want that to happen. So um, we got to get to it, right? Midland Police, we got to get to it. We got to look at all the footage. got to look at all the ring cameras. got to look at credit card transactions, who she's been hanging out with, who she's been talking to. Um, the second thing, this leads me to my second concern. It has been said that the last person that she had contact with was her boyfriend. This is this has been repeated by her family that her boyfriend was the last one to have had contact with her. So to me, uh, that brings up a lot of red flags. Um, they need to question the boyfriend, interrogate the boyfriend. The boyfriend knows something, right? Someone just does not just go missing. Um, it has also been saying that this individual has erased all of their social media. Uh, so even more red flags, right? So we need to make contact with this individual. I don't know if this individual is on the run. I don't know if they made contact with him. Um, but definitely it is a person of interest, right? So we need to do everything we can to extract information from this individual. And then the last thing that I want to talk about when it comes to missing persons or abducted uh, persons, um, the awareness piece, right? So we have the actual incident, uh, what had happened. We have the fact that she didn't take anything. We have the other issue that her boyfriend was the last person to make contact with her. So bringing awareness, I haven't seen the Amber Alert go out um, and just using these platforms to get information out there, okay? I, I don't always tell people to like, subscribe, or share anything, uh, especially with cases like this. What I would like you to do is I would like you to create your own video, okay? Uh, and pass this information along. Again, uh, this channel has helped out families, multiple families, and I'm really, really proud about that. Um, so here we are doing our work again. All right, everybody. Have a good night. Thank you.